Hello and welcome back. You know, I learned a very valuable lesson this holiday season to lighten up on myself. I wanted to have a few friends over because we were gonna decorate cookies. And in my head, that meant a sweeping campaign to get this house completely cleaned up. It meant making the cookies so we could decorate them, getting lunch all put together, putting the Christmas lights up and getting a tree in like three or four days. <laughs> Exhausting. So I did dive in, but then mid preparation, I changed lanes on the Holiday Express. <laughs> we ordered the sugar cookies from a local bakery. Genius, that took a load off of everybody. A friend of mine brought the sprinkles and the decorations and another friend brought all the champagne. So yes, I did make some chili, but I bought salad at the local deli and put it in a really nice dish. <laughs> and then I just picked up some shrimp over at Costco. Lunch done and dusted. So I did clean up the house and realized no one in this get together would actually be in my basement or in the rooms upstairs or in the backyard or in the main bedrooms down here. So you know what I did? I stuck to the main area, to the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, and the downstairs bathroom. Seriously, I cut my cleaning campaign in half. <laughs> I mean, the rest of the house is presentable, but not really clean if you look very hard. And I put up the lights only the ones I could reach out on the porch. And I just let all the stress of those roof line lights go, at least for now. And although I did buy a tree, I abandoned that plan altogether because I usually put it up later in the month when the kids are actually here to help. Instead, that tree sat out next to my garage in a bucket of water for a few days. And instead, I just strung lights on the cat scratch post thing in the corner where the tree's eventually gonna go and nobody noticed. And you know what? It was a great get together. No one cared that the salad was from a deli. And we were all so grateful that no one had to make any of those cookies. <laughs> now, I'm applying that lesson to other parts in my life. Instead of sticking to an unrealistic list of stuff to get done, I'm cutting down on the expectations that I have of myself and I can concentrate on what's most important, which is actually spending time with friends. For Aging and Awesome, I'm Erin Breed. Reconvene with Aaron Breen is presented by the Medicare Store. The Medicare Store is local and gives free, unbiased, personal Medicare advice. Visit the Medicare Store today.